Hello everyone! In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at the old comics I created. In many of my videos, I've shown my old art, but something I haven't really done is shown my old comics. Writing stories and creating comics has interested me since I was in my early teens, and was something I would often experiment with. And so I thought it'd be fun to take a look back at the comics I've made over the years. Many of these have never seen the light of day, and some I totally forgot about. <laughs> so let's see what kind of things younger me made. Also, I am trying to go through these in order, but I don't totally remember when some of these were made. I've tried my best to sort through them, and for some portions where I am talking, you'll be watching me work on my webcomic, My Next Door Neighbors. That we have something to look at when I'm talking and not showing comic pages. Uh, but anyways, the first kind of bigger story I remember making was called Sweet Dream. I worked on it when I was like 15 years old. It featured my characters Sophie and Jonah. The gist of it is that Sophie was a girl that didn't have a dream or passion. And then she meets Jonah who likes to bake desserts. Uh, but everyone thinks he's kind of a jerk and people don't really like him. I think I actually only made one page for it, and uh, here it is. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm a sophomore in high school. I've never found something I love to do. I guess you could say I've never found my dream. My dad does graphic design mostly for video games. My mom can play many, many different instruments. Have you met the new guy? Yeah, he's a jerk. And so on the next page, the girls were going to keep talking bad about him. And uh, this one right here is Jonah. I had made these default heads that I would copy and paste in. And I was going to draw in the details later, uh, but I stopped right there because the first page took me like six hours. I know it's a super simple page and there's nothing that amazing, but I was very slow at drawing. And because the page took me so long, I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to make a comic. <laughs> and so I stopped working on the story. Like I said, I'm trying to have these things go in order, but I just found this really random thing that is only one page and I made it when I was like 14. Uh, so I guess I'll read it to you. Come on, try it already. No. And then I'm assuming it's supposed to say something in this panel, but I didn't add it. <sighs> Fine. So good. Uh, so I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Maybe I just wanted to experiment with making a comic or something. But yeah, I don't really remember this. <laughs> okay, so this next thing doesn't have any finished pages. But I'm showing you this so that you can learn from my mistakes. This was made in 2011, so I was like 15. I know I was young, but these storyboards are awful. It's just a bunch of stick figures, and the word balloons don't have any words in them, so I don't know what's going on at all. Oh wait, this one has some words. And I don't remember this story, so I don't know what it means. Also, I do want to say my current storyboards aren't that much better, to be honest. I'm probably the only person that can understand them. However, I often draw little things so I know which character is which. And I will write some words in the word balloons so I know which dialogue I want in each word balloon. That way, if I come back later, I can still have a slight idea of what I wanted and not be totally confused. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to know what expressions the characters are making if I don't draw any expressions? They're just circles. <laughs> This next story, I don't remember all too much, mostly because it changed a ton. These were just some test pages I did. Also, you may notice a good amount of my older stories revolve around a shy female lead. That is because I was very shy and sometimes really hated the fact that I was. I've grown to accept it over the years. Anyways, here are the pages. What's wrong with me? Why can't I think of anything to say to him? I hate being shy. Are you okay? <gasps> it's him. Uh, after that, she was going to be so shocked that she trips and rolls down the hill and hurts her ankle. I don't know why I remember that detail, but I do. <laughs> this next thing wasn't a story. It was just a one-page test to kind of learn about making a comic page. Also, I don't know what she did to hurt him. I never decided. <laughs> I actually do remember working on this page, and it's only because I spent hours drawing this panel. I was not good at drawing male characters, and they were very much outside my comfort zone, so I spent a really long time drawing him. I do think it's good to practice making comics early on in your art journey, especially if you feel like it's something you want to do. However, if it takes you hours upon hours to draw a simple head in three-quarter view, you may want to wait until you are more comfortable with art before you jump into a big project, because it might get frustrating very fast. I do recommend trying to practice storyboarding and page layouts and pacing and writing. Just maybe try to take small steps instead of jumping into a big project. 
Uh, so this next project didn't have a ton of art, but I did think about it for a very long time. It was called Prisoners and it was about two sisters named Jade and Topaz and it was a story I considered making for about a year. I have this first page that kind of sparked the idea and then I have this one that features the characters. This is Topaz, this is baby Jade, and this is their mom. Like with many of my old stories, the plot gets changed a ton, so I don't remember too much. I just remember that for some reason Topaz was put in prison. I think she was stealing food or something, and after a while she tries to escape from the prison. Uh, but because I was a young teen, a lot of the story didn't really make much sense, like at all. Like Topaz does escape with the help of a guard who becomes her friend, but then they were like on the run from the king's guards and they had to sail to a different island. But like would knights really go through all that work to catch some kid that stole some bread? I don't think so. <laughs> this next comic was called Love Story and I made a handful of pages for it and I will read them to you in a second. The story was going to be a bit different. I wanted to try making something that didn't have a happy ending. Basically, Arya is the main character, and she was going to confess her feelings to a boy she liked and get rejected. I'm not sure how I was going to have that end in a satisfying way, but I don't think younger me did either. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Today's the day. I'm going to tell him that I like him. Name Ariana. Nickname Ari. Age 16. Birthday November 2nd. Height 5 foot 3. Hi, shrimp. You forgot your backpack at my house. Again. Name, Steven. Age, 16. Birthday, September 20th. Height, 5'9". Ariana's best friend since the 6th grade. Name, Chloe. Age, 16. Birthday, September 10th. Height, 5'6". Ariana's best friend since the 6th grade. I got my makeup. You're going to wear makeup? <laughs> Shut up. I'll make you look gorgeous. And then it just kind of stops. <laughs> When I was young, I had the bad habit of not really planning my stories out much. I would get an idea and get all inspired and want to jump straight into drawing, but then I would kind of draw myself into a corner when I didn't know what I wanted to do next. So yeah, learn from younger me and plan things out more before jumping into drawing pages. You'll save yourself a lot of time. And you might be thinking, but Becca, you jumped into my next door neighbors without too much of a plan. And yes, this is true. <laughs> However, I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do for several chapters. And I would plan multiple chapters at a time before drawing them. I always had a general idea of where I was going. Uh, so this next story I had completely forgotten about, like I had no memory of it. And it seems like I got a decent amount of pages done. Uh, so let's see what I did. Name Stacy, age 16. I can't sleep. I wonder if anyone commented on my picture. Probably not. What? There's comments. Your art looks like poop. No, it doesn't. Pancake Lover 2960. Cute. When I get a nice comment, I don't think they know how happy it makes me. I started drawing manga a few years ago. Cute. What's manga? There was a drawing site for kids and teens where they could post their pictures. I liked the art style so much I started drawing it. <laughs> also, all of this is my old art that I put into the comic. I want to draw. All done. Wasting your time, I see. Ah! Also, I want to comment that the word ballooning here isn't very good, because right now I want to go to all done, ah, and then wasting your time, I see. So I should have laid that out differently. Anyways, back to reading. Oh, it's just you. You scared me. I thought it was dad. Name, Britta. Age 18, Stacy's older sister. If dad saw you drawing, do you know what he, I know what he would say. You're wasting your time, stop drawing and go study. You're never gonna make it. He's right. Do you really think you can make it? Uh, so this got dark real quick. <laughs> also, I wanna say that my family has always been very supportive of me drawing. <laughs> I was experimenting with the idea of not having a family that's supportive. And as you can see, this is where I gave up. <laughs> so yeah, I totally forgot that this story existed. A lot of times I remember my stories, but it's fun finding one that I didn't know about. Uh, so up until this story that we'll be looking at, I had only made a few pages for the stories I would work on. And honestly, younger me was starting to get a bit frustrated by that. 
So this next project was one that I tried really hard to finish. I drew about 60 pages and because there are a lot of pages, I'm not going to read all of them to you, uh, but I will read some. It's almost my turn. I can do this. Here I go. Hello, what would you like today? Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm 17 years old and I'm really shy. The chocolate cheesecake, please. That was really good. I tend to avoid people. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Hi, Kristen. Can you grab some diapers for me? Sure. I should go grab the diapers, but I'm trying to change that. Should I go grab the diapers? I'll get in the way. I'll just wait till they're done. Yay, they got done fast. Yay, the self-checkout is open. It's just, I get nervous even if I'm just next to someone. Now I just need my purse. Aw, I forgot at the cake shop. My family and I just moved to a new town. I was kind of excited when we heard we were moving. I had no friends where we used to live. This is a fresh start. This is starting to sound familiar. <laughs> now I have to walk all the way back. Hi, you. Me? Would you like to work part-time at our bakery? We've been super busy and one of our workers quit. So please come work for us. Basically, Kristen starts working at the cake shop. She meets Megan's brother, Ethan and she tries to push herself to be more outgoing. Kristen was basically a self-insert character. She was the same age as me, had a bunch of siblings, and liked the same stuff as me. I thought it would be easier to write a story if the character was based off myself. This is true, but sometimes I would take it a little too seriously and think things like, well, I wouldn't do that, <laughs> so I won't make Kristen do that. Also, you might be wondering why I decided to stop working on this. And while you see, I really disliked that my drawing style changed as I was working on the comic. I worked on it for a handful of months to finish the 60 pages and a lot of times the characters would look very different from panel to panel. Because I was feeling a bit down about my art, I gave up on the story. And I do want to say that's very normal for art styles to change over the life of a comic series. Like if you pick up volume 1 of any comic or manga and then compare the art to the newest volume, or go to the first episode of a webtoon and compare the art to the newest chapter, you can pretty much always see differences in the art, especially for stories that have been going for a really long time. As artists, we are always growing and changing, so don't get too discouraged if your art changes as your story goes on. It happens to basically everyone. So we are going to jump forward a little bit. I made the story with Kristen when I was 17, and many of these shorter comics are from when I was 18, 19, and 20. For a while, I liked experimenting with slice of life kind of comics, they were more comedic and lighthearted, and I enjoyed working on them, especially since I thought they were kind of funny. And honestly, I might still laugh at them. <laughs> I haven't read a lot of these in a long time. Seven-year-olds watching shows made for seven-year-olds. This show is dumb. Me, age 20, watching shows made for seven-year-olds. I love this show. <laughs> this is still true, you know? Maybe I should try to have a social life. Imagining what it would be like to socialize. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm still kind of like this sometimes. <laughs> so this actually happened when I was looking out the window. Aw, what a cute bird. What's it doing? <coughs> Tweet. I remember being very disgusted. <laughs> should I have the donut or the apple? I should have the apple since I'm trying to lose weight. 10 minutes later. Yay, I picked the healthy food. And as my reward for making the right choice, I get a donut. <laughs> so yeah, those were some of my silly little comics. So next we have the story that I didn't choose to stop working on. It was deleted and it's Pariah's story. I've talked about Pariah in several videos. So I won't go too deep into it. The fairies grow flowers, Pariah doesn't know which flower she grows, yada yada. But basically, I had sketched out all of the pages like this. I had very detailed storyboards, and I had the word balloons done. And I did this for about 40 pages. And this is the only spread that survived my computer breaking, because it's the only one I backed up for some reason. So yeah, all that work went down the drain. It is interesting to see how the characters looked back then. Pariah looks very different and she had seed pods on the side of her head. The characters no longer have those, mostly because I didn't know how to add them to the boy characters. Uh, Carson also looks super different now. He doesn't just look like a basic boy that I spent two minutes designing. <laughs> so yeah, that was Pariah's story. I don't have much to show since it got deleted but it did exist. So next we have the first story I actually finished and published. If you've been a part of my channel for a while, you probably know it. And it is, I want to be a magical girl. 
I started illustrating this comic when I was 19. At that point, I had a YouTube channel with a small following and an audience that could see my work. I didn't have a ton of readers at the time, but they still really helped motivate me to keep going and finish the comic. In the past, no one was reading my work, so if I stopped working on it, it didn't really matter. But with this story, I had readers, and I was always excited to post the next chapter and have people read it. I Want to Be a Magical Girl is a full book with 166 pages, so I'll not be reading all of that to you, but I will read the first several pages to give you a feel for the story. Ever since I was little, I've wanted to be like them. Hi, Anne. Oh, hi, Emily. My mom is making tacos tonight. Yes. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm not coming over tonight. What? But you come to my house every night. My mom said that she would go shopping with me. Wow, your mom's actually going to spend time with you for once? Don't say it like that. She works really hard. Okay, okay. Well, have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I wonder where mom is. I hope she didn't forget me. I'm so boring my own mom forgets me. Hello, my name is Ian. I'm 15 years old. And I am very ordinary. I don't have any special talents and I get normal grades. I'm nothing special. Although I do have a dream, but most people find it strange. I can't believe she forgot me, again. You see, ever since I was little, I've wanted to be a superhero, or more specifically, a magical girl. Does anyone know what they want to be when they grow up? I want to be a magical girl, but of course magic isn't real, so it can never happen. Look out, the person is running so fast and can't see who it is. <gasps> BAM! Ouch, are you okay? You came out of nowhere. Hey, where did they go? Seriously, who does that? Just rams people over? Huh? That person must have dropped this. I wonder what's inside. Click, click. What am I doing? I shouldn't open it. Mm. Uh, well, a little peek wouldn't hurt. Right? Sparkly magical stuff. What happened? Where the heck am I? Huh? You're awake. Oh, did you kidnap me? No? Then what am I doing here? What's going on? Where am I? I want to go home. Huh? Why am I flying? <laughs> so yeah, if you do want to read the full thing, it is available for purchase on Amazon. I do want to warn you that it's not a super amazing story or anything. I was still learning about making comics at the time. But if you do want to check out my older work, uh, you can check it out there. After I finished I Want to Be a Magical Girl, I took a break for a bit, but I started to have that urge to make a story again. However, I didn't want to jump into another full book, so I decided to create a one-shot called White Day. Some of you may know of it because I did post it here on YouTube, and if you want to read it, I'll put the link to it in the description. Oh, also, a one-shot is basically a story that is finished in one chapter. They are usually very short and to the point. It was a pretty simple story about a boy that wanted to confess to a girl he likes, but he thinks he'll get rejected because the girl gave chocolate to all the boys on Valentine's Day except for him. Uh, so yeah, I won't read this one since it is here on YouTube and it has a lot of pages, uh, but you can go read it if you want to. Lastly, we have my current project and you're watching me draw a panel for it. I started working on my next door neighbors in 2017, so I've been working on it for like five years now. When I started working on it, my plan was to have it be a short, simple project that I'd work on in my free time. Maybe it would have several chapters, but it wasn't going to be too long. As you can see, things didn't go to plan. <laughs> the last two projects I had finished, I Want to Be a Magical Girl and White Day, had main characters that were more outgoing. So I thought I would try again to make a story about a shy girl that is trying her best to make friends. I was a bit nervous about going with this concept again. Mostly because when you have a main character that is shy or scared to do things, it can be hard for a story to progress. It was easy to make things happen and I want to be a magical girl because Anne was so spontaneous. But when working with Doris, I wanted things to happen, but hopefully do it in a natural way that felt true to the character. And Doris is the main character, but My Next Door Neighbors also focuses on a lot of the other characters and their struggles. And it's helped me explore a lot of different personalities. Since My Next Door Neighbors is my longest series, I will not be reading all of it to you. We would be here for ages. <laughs> but I did think it'd be fun to react to the first chapter. It's been a while since I've looked back at it. I still cringe a bit when looking at the old chapters. <laughs> uh, but let's take a look at it. Um, so here we have Doris introducing herself to the school. This was a pretty standard starting point and it's kind of easy because we get to meet Doris but she's also introducing herself. She's not just introducing herself to the reader but to her class. Uh, so it feels a little bit more natural but it is kind of generic. 
And then the teacher tells her to go sit down and she ends up sitting next to Chase. <laughs> and here we have Chase. He looks so tiny. It is funny seeing what it used to look like. The shading style feels really different. I feel like maybe I worked a little harder on it. <laughs> now I keep things really simple. I try to make it simple but also kind of effective. I do include a little bit more gradients now, uh, especially on the face. Also, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed, but I purposely made this one look like me. <laughs> then we have Doris in the hallway and she bonks into Brayson. And she's like really nervous that she walked into him and he just bees a jerk. <laughs> Brayson's such a mood, like he's always a mood, but he was like really a mood in the old chapters. He was like so moody <laughs> and his hair is so shaggy. He also looks super tiny. Oh my word, Annabelle's so little. I do remember I was originally planning to have the characters be like 13. Then I was like, uh, I want them to be high schoolers. So then I made them high schoolers. I do remember that's why they look so tiny in these early ones. <laughs> Here's Annabelle trying to intimidate Doris. Poor Doris. And then she's just like, yep, I'm good. See you later. <laughs> and thankfully Doris is a determined little baby. So she made some muffins and is trying to befriend her neighbors. Uh, but sadly, the door opens to Brayson. <laughs> who, like I said, is a major mood at the moment. Are you following me? Like, why would she be following you? <laughs> And then poor Doris is all nervous and he's just like, I don't want it and slams the door in her face. And here comes Chase to the rescue. Also, I just want to say I never liked this panel. I hated it when I made it and I still don't like it for whatever reason. But I told myself when I started my next door neighbors that I would not go back and fix old panels uh, because or else I would always be doing that. And so I've tried to hold true to that kind of promise I made with myself. I try not to go back and edit old art even if I really, really want to. And then we have Chase being nice and friendly. The opposite of Brayson. <laughs> and Doris is all happy. She's thinking things will be going good. And then Annabelle comes and kind of ruins the mood. <laughs> so yeah, she figures out that a lot of her classmates live in the same apartment building as her. That was the first chapter. It's really interesting to see how the art and characters have evolved over time. I've learned a ton while making this webcomic, not only about art, but also about storytelling, character development, pacing, and so on. And if you want to see my progress over the years, you can read all of the currently finished chapters on my webcomic channel. I do promise it gets better as you keep reading. Oh, also, there's my light novel, The Autumn Festival. It's not a comic, but it's a written out story that has pictures that go along with it. That was a very, very different process from making comics. I feel like I could make a whole video talking about it. And maybe I will someday if you all really want me to. Uh, but yeah, those are all the different comics and stories I have made over the years. Just like with creating illustrations, creating stories is also a learning process. But it's also a very fun and rewarding one. Creating characters and building a world that readers can connect with is just so cool to me. And I really love doing it. I hope looking back at my old stuff has maybe helped give you inspiration and motivation to work on your own stories. Well, that is all for this video, but before we end, I want to say a big thank you to my YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for your support, it means so much to me. And thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!